The field makes their way through three out of four. And when they see the green flag wave, they know that it's time to cowboy up here at Sealands Grove. Kevin Thomas Jr. does a good job getting away as quickly as he could from C.J. Leary. But Leary works that bottom side. Justin Grant, Chris Windham, and Tanner Thorson sort themselves out. Grant uses the high line to move right into the third position. C.J. Leary works way down low. Kevin Thomas Jr. lets the 9K work a little bit wider on corner exit out of four. One lap down, KT using that pole position to lead here early on. Speed up top here as they come out at turn number four. KT still solidly out in front. Kevin Thomas Jr. now has a wind visor full of Chris Windham. Windham slides him down through one and two, but KT hangs a hard left, gets back on the loud pedal. He drives to the inside of Windham. Now they've swapped lanes. Windham up top. KTJ works down low and Briggs Danner continues to bounce it off the high side over in three and four. Wyndham, your new leader. KT tries to battle back down in one and two, but he's going to run more of a Chris Wyndham esque line through those first two corners. As we near the halfway point, all this racing back and forth has slowed KT up. That allows Justin Gray to know that they're going to race each other hard for a lot more years to come. Well, tonight we're getting to see another version of it. Grant sends it deep around the top side in three and four. He's going to try and walk the dog around Wyndham, and that's exactly what he does. JG to the lead with six to go. Chris Wyndham slots into second, but don't look now. Here comes the madman, Robert Ballou. He was pretty happy last night, but he's driving angry right now. He's in third. Now he's up to second. He sends it in deep on Big Daddy. They touch. There's contact. Ballou and Wyndham get together, but Ballou gets it going. He's into second position. Is left to play offense against Kevin Thomas Jr. Three laps left, and Ballou has seen that gap grow from 1.5 to 2.2 seconds. Justin Grant is not playing games. He is here to win races. They make the way down the back straightaway. 28 laps complete, two to go. This time by, close battle on the track is the one for third, because there ain't no battle up at the front. KT pushes up on the exit of four. That opens the door for CJ Leary. He decides to step on through to the other side, move Leary now into the third position. Kevin Thomas Jr. tries to battle right back down low, but Leary able to roll the speed on the high side. The white flag waves. We keep an eye on this battle because Robert Ballou continues to lose sight of JG. Justin Grant sees the white flag out in front for the second time in three nights here in Eastern Storm competition. He was victorious at Grandview Speedway. He was fast at Bridgeport last night, and he is going to do it again. His second win in three nights here in Eastern Storm. Sealands Grove belongs to Justin Grant.